Welcome back. I am Olivia of Olivia's Romantic Home and in today's video I am so excited to share with you guys a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create this beautiful romantic wreath including the bow. I gathered some goodies from Hobby Lobby and Michaels and decided to just go over the top and this is a very French manner or Parisian chic or you guys could even use this for a wedding, a bridal um, entryway or um, just whatever you all love to decorate for an event or even your front door. So remember also you guys can change out the floral colors to match your home decor. So maybe you don't like all of the pale colors, you could add some more bold purples or reds or just whatever suits your fancy. If you love to craft and decorate on a budget, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. If you punch the bell and click all, that's going to update you every single time I post a new video. It's a blessing and honor to have you all here. And without further ado, let's go ahead and plug in those glue guns, get out your glitter, paint, ribbons, and roses, and let's get to crafting. For this DIY, I want to share with you all how I'm going to create a beautiful, elegant, romantic, French manner inspired wreath. So from Hobby Lobby, I grabbed this oblong wreath form, and then I want to start out by adding in the greenery. The next thing I want to do is add in this beautiful, soft, smoky blue wisteria, and this is from Michaels. I'm using one bush of the wisteria, and I simply just clipped the ends off and I'm hot gluing each piece to where it looks like it's kind of cascading down the side of the wreath. This is really not a hard wreath to do. I just want to encourage you guys wherever you're at in your crafting journey you can totally do this. So you want to layer it in different sections and then make sure it has some movement by leaving some of those pieces a little bit longer and some of them just a little bit shorter. So once I had all of my wisteria added I added a little bit more greenery in and around the base and then I added a little bit of hydrangea picks. I didn't add in all of the hydrangea picks yet because I wanted to make my bow and the hydrangea picks were rather full and fluffy. So I wanted to leave space in between the section to be able to, to add my bow. The hydrangea bundle is also from Michaels. Now this velvet ribbon I found at Hobby Lobby and run to Hobby Lobby right now because they have a ton of ribbon for 99 cents up to $1.50. It's on clearance. And when I saw this velvet blue, I just knew it would be perfect for my French Manor inspired Parisian Oso oh Chic wreath. I'm using my Easy Bow Maker and I'm going to make a fairly large bow. So it's eight inches on either side and that's going to be a 16 inch bow starting out with. Now the only thing about this ribbon is it it's only has a little bit of wire to it, so it was a little bit floppier than I had hoped for, but I still think it came out really beautiful. The next set of loops is going to be 14 inches, and the Easy Bow Maker, really, I'm just using the center part. I probably need to get a, a new one because a lot of the prongs have fallen off, but I've had this one ever since the beginning of my YouTube journey. I think so. I've had this one for about six years. Anyway, I'm just looping the ribbon over on itself and I decided to only use two sets of loops for the blue section of the ribbon. At first I was going to do all of the ribbon, I was going to do the entire bow blue, but then I decided to add this pretty pale pink. I did stock up on some of the lighter shades because I know I'm going to be doing some romantic decor for the fall season and also for this upcoming Christmas season, which I'm so excited for. I'm really, really excited to be going back to my romantic decor roots when I first started my journey on YouTube. And that's just really what's speaking to my heart right now. It's so soft and gentle and romantic. And so anyway... So I'm doing smaller loops on the pink ribboning and then don't forget on your bow to dovetail your ends. To dovetail your ends you just want to simply cut a little triangle at the end of your ribbon and that's really going to give your project a nice polish to finish. Especially if you're going to be selling your wreath or giving it to a family or friend. Um, and even if it's for your home you still don't want to have rough icky edges when you've spent this much time making the bow. To add movement and texture to my ribbon, I ended up using a little bit of this thinner ribbon that had some gold edging. I thought that would look so French chic or 
just chic in general. And then once I had that done, I was satisfied with my loads of layers of bows. I always make bows that have loads of layers. I think I have a style to my bow making. So I hope you guys are here for it and are loving it. I'm gonna remove it from my Easy Bow Maker, which if you guys have trouble with your hands like I do, the Easy Bow Maker is really nice to have. It's not necessary. You can definitely make a bow without it, but it's just nice to not have to hold it and wear your hands out. So then the next thing I'm gonna do is just go ahead and fluffy out my bow and my ribboning. And then once I have that done, I always do a nice pre-fluff on my bows and then I'll add that onto my project and then you wanna fluff and fluff and fluff some more. So you can tell it the wired on the ribbon was super stiff. So it didn't stand up as much as I was hoping for, but then once I played around with it a little bit more, fluffing it on my wreath, it definitely really was taking shape how I wanted it to. I think it is looking beautiful. The blue on the ribbon was a little bit not as purple as the uh, bluish purple on the wisteria, but I feel like that was okay to have a nice bit of contrast. I still feel it's like it's looking very Frenchy chic and, um, or just romantic, however you would want to describe this beautiful wreath. The other thing I wanted to share with you all is that you're always welcome to take any of my ideas and change the pattern or the color of ribbon to fit your home decor style. So maybe you decorate with black and white, maybe you decorate with reds, yellows, whatever colors you love, change out my ribbon and my floral idea to suit your fancy, to suit your home. The next thing I'm adding in is just a little cluster of bridal roses. Again, all of the florals are from Michaels and then the ribbon and the base of my wreath is from Hobby Lobby. Here is the final product. I'm absolutely in love with it. I hope you guys are in love with it as well. Let's create a beautiful hanging floral and I'm just gonna use these greenery pieces. I actually found these at Hobby Lobby and cut them in half. And then I'm taking these wisteria flowers and I'm simply zip tying them to the top part of the little greenery piece. You guys can find these type of greenery pieces on Amazon as well. Um, I really wanted to create something for my studio craft area that looks very romantic, like a Bridgerton romantic floral or a French Manor romantic floral. So I'm using one stem um, or one full bundle actually of the wisteria um, and I did two of these. And I'm just simply zip tying the spot on the wisteria that's between the leaf and the top of the wisteria plant. To, and I'm just kind of layering it in and around the greenery piece. So I was just racking my brain on how I could create these. I love the movie Bridgerton by Netflix. I, my daughter and I actually just finished watching it. And I love the front of their home where all the wisteria is like draping down. And so I also love so many of the florals in there. Let me know if you guys are crushing on that show as well. It's just so romantic. It is a little spicy. So if you don't like that, you might want to fast forward or look away. <laughs> but anyway, um, just I love the aesthetic. I can tell that the filmmakers and the writers have just worked so hard in bringing that whole creation together. The costuming design is just a beautiful romantic period piece. And I am definitely, that is something that I absolutely love. I've also considered starting to make wreaths again and sell them on my Etsy shop. Biggest thing that I have the hardest problem with is shipping my larger wreath. So let me know if that would be something you guys would be interested in seeing. I used to have an Etsy shop for years. And I think after my daughter graduates this next year, I might have more time on my hands. So I just simply hung this on a nail and then I am popping in some hydrangea pieces and then just a pretty rose at the top, or maybe that was a peony at the top. 
Um, I did not zip tie those in because I just wanted to give myself the chance to live with the floral, but I'm just poking them in. And after I had added the wisteria, they definitely were able to just kind of hold in there. So I'll see how I love this, but I think it looks pretty awesome. I'm thinking about making some of these also for my living room. Here's that wreath that we created and the big bow. Really as opulent as I feel like the wreath came out, it really didn't take as much product as you would think. So the one wisteria bundle, the bundle of hydrangeas, and then the little bundle of roses, and then the ribbon, I all got, I got all of that on clearance at Hobby Lobby. So look for those deals right now. I'm telling you guys, it is definitely worth checking your catalogs and um, all that fun stuff. So I love this romantic decor. I'm going to be doing romantic fall as well as some regular traditional fall as well. Um, but I am crushing on it. It's what I originally did when I first started on my YouTube journey. If you guys have been here from the beginning, I did do so much romantic decor back then and I really want to bring it back. And if you guys aren't crazy about the colors that I'm using, you can always change them out for the colors that are in your home. So here's my puppy dog, Benji Bear. Apologies, this is my house. It's very lived in. So there's kind of stuff everywhere, but um, he was, we were watching the movie and then he had his little ball. He seems to really get really um, kind of bossy when we're trying to watch a show and he wants us to play with him, I think, because he has a captivating audience. So anyway, that's his little green ball, his favorite toy in the world. And the funny thing is, is Benji Bear also loves watching movies that have horses and dogs and birds and he loves barking at them. So he was pretty barked up during a lot of the scenes in this movie because they have so many horses. Um, but he wants to say hi to all his puppy dog and kitty cat fans out there. We love you guys so, so much. <laughs> so much for joining me on another fun and fabulous crafting and decorating adventure. It's a true blessing and honor to have you all here. For those of you all that are new, welcome. I'm Olivia with Olivia's Romantic Home. I'm a DIY crafty mama and I love to share with you guys how you can make your home's boutique gorgeous on a budget. I truly believe you do not have to break the bank to have a fabulous, amazing home. Let's remember to bloom where we're planted and every day that we wake up, it is a new gift from God. It is a new day to do just a little bit better than the day before, to put one foot in front of the other. This morning I got up, I purposely made my bed, I tidied up my space, I went to the gym, um, you know, I dressed up and showed up for you guys and created this beautiful um, decorative wreath. And so I feel like today has been a wonderful day. I'm gonna cook dinner in a little bit. And so anyway, those are just some of the things. And then later, once the sun wears off, I am going to work my Little puppy dog Benji Bear um, and so he is my little favorite guy but we have been having to wait because it's now full summer you know 90 degrees out um, so I would like to ask you guys a question I would love to have you guys um, leave a comment down below on what you would like to see me do for the upcoming fall and Christmas season um, I you know love to create and I have my own style but I am definitely up for suggestions on what you guys would like to see me try to create um, and I try to do everything as budget friendly as possible um, so anyway you know the kiddos in my family are also starting to grow up so I will have weddings that I'm gonna decorate for and all of that kind of fun stuff so I'm super excited to be thinking about those ideas um, and I really want to do a romantic fall and Christmas so if you all are here for that and love to romanticize your life or even your home thank you for being here um, and even if you don't and you're just entertained by watching me or uplifted thank
thank you for that as well. I love to hear your kind comments. I read so many of them and so many of them just bring my heart so much joy and remind me why we are all here. And I'm so proud of this YouTube, YouTube community and just all of you guys in general. So thank you guys for being here. If you need prayer, drop those prayer requests down below. If you're struggling with some majorly heavy stuff, I'm going to encourage you guys to keep moving, to keep going, to keep getting out of bed and doing things with your hands, crafting, decorating, even tidying up your space. It is going to give you the lift that you need. And if your ladies out there and your wives and your mothers, your family needs you and they need your heart to just be able to keep going. So I know it can be tough out there, but I just wanted to give you that little tidbit. I am thankful and blessed to have you guys here. It's going to be an amazing summer and I love y'all to the minute back and until our next video, be kind to yourselves and be kind to one another. I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye. Storm.